Hi there, I'm Sandy Almock, and welcome to my Bible journaling channel here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be working on this page from Psalm 62, and this is one that has been near and dear to my heart, this verse, and especially for the last couple weeks as we've been going through a lot of hurricanes and all kinds of earthquakes and things. The verse reads, He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. I don't even want to be any kind of shaken in my faith. I don't want to be not shaken one bit. But I've already sketched out my words here in the column, and I wanted them to be a little bit lighter than this, so I took a kneaded eraser and lightened some of the places where my pencil lines got a little bit heavy. I have a sheet of copier paper underneath of my Bible page. And then I took what is called palette juice, <laughs> whatever is left in your palette from a previous piece, and just made some paint out of it because I just wanted rock colors and they just I wanted natural looking colors. And I just started picking up the paint and throwing it all over the page. At first I was trying to decide whether I wanted these very light colors, very soft colors on the whole thing, or whether I wanted something richer. It's always safer to start light and then you can always add more. And then I added a sheet of copier paper on top and a hot iron to smooth it out. The ironing never smooths it perfectly, but it smooths it well enough that you can get back to work on it. I don't use any page prep, by the way. I don't know that you want to iron anything with page prep on it because that has got some, most page preps at least, have some kind of acrylic content in them and that will melt which means it'll stick to things and that's just a problem. So I can iron since I don't use any page prep and flatten things out. I'm looking at my text that's underneath of the paint because I can still see it. It's very light, but I can see it. And I can also see the lines there. And I was trying to work on my lettering and try to even it out and make it a little straighter than what I had sketched it. But since my head can't be directly over top of this because that's where the camera is, I started getting off a little bit and things started looking a little funky. I went over the words again, wasn't happy with them. And after I got done with doing the word salvation very nicely, I thought, well, maybe if I just make the he alone very thick, then it will look like I meant to do that. If you screw up your lettering in your Bible, don't beat yourself up over it. God gave you the handwriting he gave you and he made you writing the way you are right now. And that that's okay, whatever that is, celebrate it because that's how you are made and it's all right. Do a lot of doodling, do a lot of practicing, and just always have a notebook around where you practice writing words and eventually your handwriting will improve. And don't judge yourself based on what other people do. There's some people that their whole Bible is full of all kinds of beautiful lettering. Mine is not. A lot of mine is just me scribbling a note on top of a beautiful drawing that I've done. And that's okay by me because that's what, that's how God made me. So now I'm drawing the rest of my lines on here. I'm using a micron pen, by the way. Micron pen works with watercolor. And I have a whole set that has different widths on it. So you can get one of those sets and then have lots of options for how thick your lines will be. And I'm going to start adding more color to it because I decided I really wanted to add more strength to it. This bottom section is water because we've had all the hurricanes and floods, and then the rest is rocks and dirt, which was reflective of the earthquakes that we've had. So I put both of them in the, the scene here. And that is my cat wailing in the background. If you're wondering what that funny noise is, he decided to get up and come join me. And he's feeling very chatty today. But the colors that I'm using, I'm literally just adding a little bit of paint to the stuff that was already on my palette. So I don't even have any colors to tell you I'm using this or that. I just grabbed various things and made different mixes of them. Underneath of where the words are, I'm using just paint and keeping it very soft so I can still read the text and letting the color get more intense in the column on the right hand side since there's no words underneath of it to be read. Zoom in here a little bit so you can see the finishing work that I'll do with the Micron pen to add some shading underneath some of the rocks. And I'm just adding it on the kind of left and bottom side of everything so it feels like there's a light source but not stressing out over it. Just wanted to add a little strength to it 
so I have a little bit more contrast going on. And I'll add a little bit of stippling here and there in the dirt just to make it look like it's got a tiny bit of texture. You could add some texture also with a white pen and do both of those if you wish. There is a sketch that I am posting in the description down below this video, as I've been doing with all of my videos on this channel. So if you're interested in trying this yourself, feel free to do that. You can do that with any verse and stuff. You can you do your own lettering and just use the concept of it. Please do share it with me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you're creating inspired by what I'm doing here on this YouTube channel. So thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Continue to pray for the victims of these disasters and give to one of the charities that's helping. God bless you and I'll see you next week.